Antoine Auguste Ernest Hébert was a French painter who was born in Grenoble, France on November 3, 1817. He lived a long life and eventually passed away on December 5, 1908. Hébert was an artist who created artworks in two different art movements, Romanticism and Academic Art. During the Romanticism period, his paintings were known for their vivid emotions, dramatic lighting and powerful expressions. When the academic movement emerged in France, Hébert adapted his style to reflect the new trend. He created more realistic artworks that followed the academic principles. Today, Hébert is known as an important artist who was able to successfully adapt his style to different artistic movements. Hébert was influenced by a variety of subjects, such as classical mythology, history, and literature. He was also inspired by his travels to Italy and his encounter with the works of the Italian painters, especially Raphael. Hébert's friends and colleagues included many prominent artists, such as Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres, Paul de la Roche and Alexandre Cabanel. Hébert also taught at École de Beaux-Arts in Paris, where he had a great impact on the development of his students. Ernest Hébert was born into a family of a notary in Grenoble in 1817. He moved to Paris in 1835 to study law, but also took art lessons with the famous sculptor David Diage and painter Paul de la Roche. At the age of 22, he achieved success with his painting Look Up and Prison at the Paris Salon. Four years later, in 1839, he won the Prix de Rome from the Académie de Beaux-Arts with his biblical composition Joseph's Cup in Benjamin's Sack, which provided him with a scholarship and an extended stay at Villa Medici in Rome. Young Hébert's genius continued to flourish in Rome, where he painted many Romantic-style works. His painting, Malaria, completed in a vivid realism style, depicts Italian peasants escaping from an epidemic by raft, and was exhibited in the Salon of 1850-51. One of his students, Paul Truillibert, was a Barbizon school artist. Hébert's preserved house is now known as the Musée Hébert in Paris' 6th arrondissement. Hébert went on to have a long and illustrious career that spanned many decades, with his influence on the art world continuing even after his death in 1908. He painted several portraits depicting members of French aristocracy and society, several of which remain untitled, and also worked on numerous themes centered around Neapolitan society. One of his paintings, The Sorrowful, created in 1870, is exhibited at the Musée d'Orsay, Paris. In conclusion, Antoine Auguste Ernest Hébert was a versatile French painter who had a long and illustrious career spanning several decades. Hébert was a notable artist who successfully adapted his style across different art movements and was a prominent figure in both Romanticism and academic art. Drawing inspiration from classical mythology, history, literature, and his travels to Italy, Hébert created vivid, emotional artworks with dramatic lighting and powerful expressions. He also influenced many students, including Paul Truillibert, at École de Beaux-Arts in Paris, where he taught. Today, Hébert is known as an important artist who made significant contributions to French art history, leaving behind a legacy in numerous portraits and Neapolitan society themes.